Welcome back to another drunken movie review. What are we watching tonight? Two beers in my goof. One tall can in my hand. You're a one tall can man? Yeah. We are going to find some on Tubi. Why you hit your booby? What would your booby do to you? That is fucking rude. Um... There's a movie on Tubi called Ring Ring. Hello? Wing Wing. Hello? Wing Wing. Hello? Hello, Hello operator. Somebody there? Mm -hmm. You want to watch a movie called Ring Ring? Hmm. It's Halloween night and a group of telemarkers with a budding business idea are oh, about to discover oh, something truly horrific. Oh, Wait for that. Oh, is, is it going to be, hi, I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. <laughs> that was funny. That was fucking hilarious. That was funny. Yeah. You gotta admit, that was funny. That was funny. He might be a creeper. <laughs> oh, there's a movie called Run, Bitch, Run. Run, bitch! Run! We might have to watch. If not now... That's definitely on the list. Run, bitch, run. Man, Tubi <laughs> has some. Man, they got. You know, the most of them are gonna suck ass, but they have some good looking titles. There's some good, like, funny, like, run, bitch, run. Come on, that has to be hysterical, right? It's like I'm wondering if that's like gonna be a female version of like, not like storyline wise, but the goofiness of like Tucker and Dale versus Evil, <laughs> or, like something like that, you know? So look at Halloween at Aunt Ethel's. Yeah. Uh, anyways, yeah, they got a lot of funny looking movies, but I think we'll watch Ring Ring right now. This video yeah. is brought to you by Tubi. Mm -hmm. Or not. One day, them fuckers will pay us for talking about their fucking application. Yeah, that day ain't coming anytime soon. Hey man, last time we talked about it, we had like 80 or 90 viewers. Now our videos are regularly getting like, um, I don't know, 170 to 200 views. PewDiePie, so look out. We're we coming have, for your ass. We have doubled our views in the last couple weeks. So, yeah. Give it time, man. Give it time. Give it time. But you guys need to keep clicking. Uh, what side's it on? What side's it on? Is it down there? Or is it down here? It's over here. You click on that little boxy thing right over here. Or is it up there? No, no. It's going to be. I think no. it's down here. It's on one side of the screen. I can't remember. It's either over here, it's over there. But there's like a boxy thing that's, you see it says like Goodwill Hunters right here, little red and white thing. Click on that so you subscribe to the channel. Or at the end of the video, we'll put something, I'll put something like right up here at the end of the video that you can, it's, so maybe it's in that corner, that corner or this corner, one or two. But click on it, subscribe. It's free, it doesn't cost anything. One time, so I was telling a guy to subscribe to our channel. He's like, well, how much does it cost? I'm like, it's YouTube. You should have told him it's 50 bucks. Well, he wasn't going to pay that. Yeah, give me your PayPal he was, he was, But I told him it's free. And he's like, oh, okay. So sometimes people don't know. It's free. It's free? Free to subscribe on YouTube. You just click the button. Yeah. That way you get notifications every time we make a video. Or just remember, every Tuesday and Saturday, 6 p.m., turn on your motherfucking YouTube, so baby. We're not making any money? Not right now. Not until you from keep watching our video. Although um, uh, we are halfway, we we're halfway uh, to you know every year you have to have like four thousand or forty four hundred hours of views oh, watch to time. be eligible to be monetized. Oh, views it's, or watch time? Watch time. Sorry. Yeah, forty four hundred hour, four thousand four hundred hours of watch time. I'm fucked. Um, yeah, uh, in the past uh, two months, we have, uh, like, we're well over 2,000 hours. Yeah? So, yeah, yeah. We're getting there. We'll be monetizing soon. Then you motherfuckers are going to have to look at little things and click off of it right here. It's going to pop up. And you can fuck, fuck this little band fucking advertisement thing. Let's watch a movie. You want to watch a movie? Nah. Before they leave? Ring Ring is a movie uh, on Tubi. We don't know. It's an hour and 12 minutes of horror thriller made in 2019. Other than that, I don't know anything about it because hopefully Tubi this doesn't movie give us too much information. Phoned in. <laughs> I'm 
start the show, man. Let's do it. That was a good movie. That was a good movie. I liked that movie. I enjoyed it. It wasn't too long. It went by really quick. Yeah, it, it did. It did. I mean, it was an hour and 12 minutes, but it did not feel like that. And it took about an hour and nine minutes before you see the title. Ring, ring. Yeah, that was kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> the very end of the movie, you know, you don't see the title at the beginning, very end. But it did say at the beginning it was inspired by true events. Yeah. Which, I don't know about that. But, inspired yeah, by. It's probably, something like this probably happened before. Yeah. Well, There's, I mean. No spoiler alerts. You know, somebody, you know, somebody, you know, okay, so, so we'll, we'll tell you as much as we're going to tell you about the storyline. It's, there's these people. And, you know, kind of what they're, they're losing their jobs, so they're doing some kind of crooked to masturbating? Paying no attention to the masturbator. Mm. But anyways, these, these three people, two guys, one girl, decide that they're going to get, I can't even do this while you're doing that. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. It definitely threw me off, for sure. Not what Just we like expected. how I threw you off. Yeah. Right. I was I was expecting something totally different. Yeah, I was expecting I, I, the plot line threw yeah. me for a loop. Even based Picture. off the description you saw on the TV, yeah, I thought it was going to be something totally different. So uh, this was pretty cool. The one thing, the one element of the film that really, really made it cool was the the ride share aspect of it. Yeah, was, that was surprising. You know, that yeah, was surprising. Yeah, so there's it's another movie with. Uh, rideshare involved. Yeah, and and it's it, the rideshare aspect of the and film the main, is a pretty main pretty important is a part of the film. Driver. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, well, one of the main characters, but yeah, you know, yeah. but yeah, yeah. So, uh, but anyways, so you know, the, basically, these people are losing their job. They want to do something to uh, you know make some money. They have a scheme, and um, the dude does some stuff with his cell phone, and then he loses his cell phone, and. They're trying to find out where his cell phone is, and that gets them into Dude, some where's trouble. your cell phone? Dude, it's with my car. And bro, where's my car, dude? Should we go to the drive and get some food? And then... And then... Do you want to, uh, do you want to finish this video right here? Hey. It doesn't matter what you want to do. That's played out. Suck it. <laughs> That's played out. <laughs> yeah, this movie it uh, it reminds me a lot of like uh, a movie called Boiler Room with Ben Affleck Never heard of it. and Never uh, heard of it. and and, yeah. and the movie Rideshare. Yeah, all combined yeah. into one. This was a good movie. It was a really good movie. I enjoyed. So it. you know it was funny because we were like, okay, we just watched a shitty movie and. Yeah. And then we're like, okay, let's put on something else. And we obviously want to watch something better. And um, he's like, put on something good. And I was like looking for something cheesy and funny to laugh at. Yeah. And so we're scrolling along, scrolling along, scrolling along. And Ring Ring came up. And it kind of looked interesting. And we had no idea that it was going to be anything related to rideshare or nothing. So uh, we said to pop it on. And then the rideshare aspect definitely made it a lot more fun. It Man, was It was good the flick. Share connection. It was a good flick. Definitely enjoy it. Definitely, this definitely one. want to watch it. And we're not going to do spoilers for you guys. We want you head to over to Tubi. Tubi Ring Ring. Ring Ring. Like, uh, you know, kind of like the ring, but no, it's just ring. Ring Ring, like telephone. Ring Ring, hello. Ring Ring, hello. Watch this movie. Hello. Hello. Operator, operator, hello. So check out the movie and leave comments down below if you've seen it already or if you go and watch it and then come back. Let us know what you thought, because we really enjoyed this movie. And I was really surprised that Lou Ferrigno. Lou Ferrigno was, was in it. Lou Ferrigno, the Lou Ferrigno. incredible Hulk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not the Hulk, but the incredible Hulk. The throwing cars Hulk. The guy that lives next door to Kevin James Hulk. The bam, 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 bam Hulk. Yeah. Yeah. Does he live next door to Kevin James? He does. Well, that's cool. And Speaking King of Ke Queens. Oh, in King of Queens? Oh, okay. <laughs> Speaking of Kevin James, have you seen uh, his YouTube channel? And he's doing, I don't know if it's once a week or what. I think it's once a week. Kevin James is doing these little short movies. And they are 
hysterical. Hmm. Hysterical. Yeah, we'll have to watch some. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. Um, and there's a, a, a rumor, I don't know if it's true or not, but Kevin James, because he shaved his head. Man. He's bald and like has a beard now. Um, but uh, he looks like very villainous. And I saw something, I don't know if it was a joke or not, but something about Kevin James being in a horror movie. And what I've seen... I saw that. And what I've seen on Kevin James' channel, he is a good actor. Not just a goofball comedy like actor. Like away from the police or something? Really like good desert, actor. In the forest? I, don't, I haven't seen a teaser for it or anything. All, I just saw like a uh, like kind of artwork and I didn't know if somebody was bullshitting or not. But um, anyways. Because they were running away because like he, he had like coughed on somebody at a restaurant. So like, Oh, that's all. Those are some of the videos on his channel. Yeah. He's been doing all these hilarious videos. Um, so anyways, check out Kevin James channel, uh, YouTube. Um, Tell him to get with Hunter stuff. sent you. Exactly. Cause you know, he'll, you know, we're down, you know, we're, we're, we're like tight like that with Kevin James, you know? You're like, I was like kind of like being like I was like oh yeah you know but I was kind of like awkward with my hands and I was like I don't I'll just go like this jerk on me jerk on you jerk on me jerk on you uh, 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 uh. we're probably done now so ring, ring. Um, let's rate this bitch uh, oh yeah we should probably do that wow so the greatest movie of all time being a zero the worst being a 12 or more I end there was one little thing with the end that i was like mm. um but it wasn't a big big deal but um the best movie of all time than this i give it five beers out of 12 I'm, well okay I was, I was gonna, five beers i'm giving it a four wow i'm giving it a four wow yeah that was yeah, pretty I'm good it, it was pretty good it was really good it was pretty good especially for being an indie film especially yeah. for being indie you can yeah. tell there was some money yeah. behind that film. Um, and that's, I'm going to look up because I've never heard him before, but um, directed by Adam Marino. So um, I'm going to see what else he may have done uh, because maybe I want to check out some more of his movies now. Totally. So, totally. Yeah. But this was definitely, it was very good. I really enjoyed this. So with the five, with the four, that's a 4.5 average for ring, ring, motherfucker. Hello? Ring, ring. Who's over there? Yeah, you know, there was one thing, there was one thing, you know, there was, I mean, there was a couple little things with the film that I'm like, hmm, okay, you need to do this, and they didn't. Now, if they did the things that I thought they should have done, it may not have solved their problems, but it's like, dude, there's a couple things you got to do, and they didn't do, so it's like, Ugh. but still, it was very entertaining, went by very fast, I really enjoyed it, so. 4.5 is the score. Fluffy's gonna rub one out, play with his own boobies. I'm out of here, Jack. See you guys next time.